Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this reading. Go ahead and click that link to book a reading. All right, Virgo. So let's get into this. Yes, I've put it back to landscape for today. We'll see how things go. So the energy you're starting with is soulmates, twin flames, and passion. Okay. Now, yesterday's reading was very narky. Um, so if you, I just want to say really quick, um, we're not going to turn this into, uh, like if you have a narcissist relationship or like there's a relationship with someone that has that energy, don't gaslight yourself, be done with that relationship, okay? But it, I felt the need to kind of see how somebody is feeling about you. So this is really, we're just going to check into the energies of another person whom either you're in a relationship with or, uh, you know, whatever comes up. Let's just take a look and see, okay? Some of you might be trying to figure out, like, am I in a twin flame relationship or is this a soulmate? What is the difference? Either one. There's a lot of passion that somebody has for you, Virgo, okay? Lots. Insane chemistry. Having fun, okay? That's not really a committed kind of thing. The soulmate is like a soul contract, partnership. The twin flame is like the yin to your yang, which could mean there's um, opposite energies that tend to complement each other. Um, but there's a little bit of difficulty. Okay, so let's get into this. So the person in question, I feel like whoever is on your heart at this time, like their way, this is what I feel. This person is away, trying to make some serious magic happen in their life at this time. Okay. Hmm. They're trying to manifest something, but I don't feel like it's it's not working out. Something's not working out for this person. Ooh. Oh, they just said. This person is trying to do something for you. Okay, it could be a Gemini, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But this person is trying to manifest something for you, and it's not, they're, they're, I feel like they're hitting like some kind of a roadblock here with something they're just, show me the, show me the magician, what's going on? Wow. So there is definitely an energy of this person being away. They're trying to make some kind of magic happen. And it involves you, Virgo, though it involves you. Show me the tower. What's the energy of the tower? Ooh. So now we've got the Queen of Cups. In the Hierophant. Oh, okay. I just heard they're going to break up with someone. They're away because they're breaking up with someone or they're ending something with someone. Yeah. Yeah, Virgo. Yes. They, they, I guess this person must be in a committed relationship or they're married, but I feel like they're trying to end it. And it, it involves you in some way. So I don't know if you're not talking to this person or, you know, they're away. Maybe you are. You might be communicating with them daily. Maybe you know about this. But this person is... Oh, and I also heard whoever their person is, if they have somebody else, doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be another person in the picture. Um, either they're telling the other person about you or they are being found out yes 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 so you're coming to the forefront the rest of this month like you're going to be significant in some way you've been hidden have you been hidden Is somebody not really they haven't said anything or they there there's definitely an avoidance there's been some kind of an avoidance but i feel like something's going to shift and change in their energy towards you so 
I feel like if whether they've been avoiding you or just putting you in a position where you're really not known, I'm hearing, or no one can see you. I feel like this person is going to start talking. Maybe they're going to tell their superiors, whoever their superiors are, or other other people, mentors, perhaps. Something along those lines. You might be in a long-distance relationship. Or they might be long-distance to you, but yeah. I do feel like there is a connection that this person feels that's the soulmate that's the that's the card there is a connection this person feels with you like you both are on the same page there's equality there's love here definitely and i feel like that's a it's a very odd message so i don't know who they could be ending they're ending some kind of contract with someone whether that's romantic whether that's telling family members telling their um, people that they have other commitments to i don't know why but i just i do know why but with the two of swords i just feel like you've been kind of hidden blocked or just not they haven't really talked about you but they are they're talking about you something about making a decision they're definitely seeking advice from someone else or others seeking some kind of like learning something yeah Virgo that's really interesting you know as far as feelings go I mean I feel like this person loves you very much and enough so that they are they're going they're on this journey to try to, there, there's definitely a change. There might even be communication about moving in together or relocating. But they're breaking some kind of contract, some kind of deal. They're quitting. They, they At one point, they signed on the dotted line for something in the past. And I feel like now it's like, no, they're not. They're reneging is the word they're reneging on the contract either with another person or this is just them showing up as the queen of cups or the queen of pentacles basically saying really checking their feelings and um something's over something's ending on their end it could be a taurus aquarius it could be a leo but something's definitely ending on their end let me see tell you more tell virgo more <laughs> tell you more tell virgo more Okay. Oh, gosh. So they're freeing themselves from this. When I look at this Three of Cups, I always feel like this is an energy of someone. This is just playful, fun, <clears throat> non-committal, partying, having a good time. Um, they're on a new adventure. I feel like this person is, yep, making a lifestyle change. They're not going to live that way, I'm hearing. Dating a lot of different people or just spreading themselves thin i feel like they're not doing that anymore well what's coming towards virgo wow virgo are you, do you have like an intuition i feel like your intuition might be telling you like you feel this energy coming towards you yeah it's coming in um, you're going to see from somebody, could be a Pisces, you're going to see from this person a lot of reciprocity and effort put in and a lot of things happening very quickly after this person finishes what they're doing here. Uh, I, the moon, it's just so odd. I feel like this person um, is going to, I'm hearing come to you at night. They're saying come to you at night or during a full moon. When is the next full moon? Gosh, we're in May. I haven't even switched my calendar over yet. Wait, let me look. The next full moon. Okay, May 8th. Yeah, May. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, May 23rd. Yeah, that's going to be a sign the sig significant day. May, May 23rd. That's when it's going to come in. So I feel like for a while here, 
you know, we're only on May 1st, May 2nd. So for the next few weeks, there may be some disconnect. And this is why I feel like this is happening here. They're going to end something with somebody or maybe divorce or just put or just like the, the con like I said I, I feel like I can't talk what's the matter with me the contract that they signed is no longer valid whatever that contract is oh shit right when I said that so they might have been married to somebody or in a, a, a partnership but I feel like this person wants to be with you the Gemini energy again whomever it is we'll find out more but I feel like this person wants to be with you you're their love of their life you're their love they want it to grow. This person wants a, a connection to grow. Let me look at you, Virgo. Let's take a look at you. Hmm. We have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. What's going on? And the Emperor. Huh. Looks like you're going to ask about a third party. You're going to ask about a third party. You want this, some truth. And you want to know why someone... You think maybe they're giving you the silent treatment? I don't know. Maybe they are. But you're going to ask once the communication comes in. Um, and do it kind of bravely. Because I feel like you might be a little intimidated by this person. But not intimidated enough. Like you're, I see you're, that, That's what that means. I feel like you're going to get the courage up to approach and be straightforward. And ask this person what's going on with the other person or the other involvement and why hasn't there been any communication why you've been sleeping on me that could be part of it as well you might feel like this person's been sleeping on you or you know they have and you may be questioning like what what's going on with the other person or what's going like there's conversation you want to talk you do you want to talk to this person or at least listen and then have some communication with them. Bring things back into balance. You've been patient, Virgo. While somebody's been sleeping on you or giving you the silent treatment, you're patient. I mean, whether you have been or you will be, I feel like you're like you're not waiting, but you're just like, I see you going forward. Whatever will be, will be. And you're not reaching out and communicating with them until they come forward, which they will. And tell you what's going on. Hmm. Because you're perfectly fine to end something here. If you might feel betrayed, but you're perfectly fine to, you know, end it because I just feel like your ener your energy is like, well, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I'll move on. You know what I mean? Let's see. So yeah, it could be an air sign. It could be a fire sign. All right, Virgo, you have the Four of Wands and you have the Four of Cups and the Six of Cups. Um, Virgo, I feel like when this person approaches you and tells you what's going on or where they've been or what's been going on with them, I see you being very stable. There's something to do with marriage and uh, commitment. But I also feel like when they come in with this Ace of Cups here to connect with you, you might be a bit undecided. Or, I mean, it's definitely going to be a surprise. This person is going to come in and surprise you. Maybe, when is Mother's Day? Some of you might be moms. There might be a connection to Mother's Day. I know Mother's Day is in May. Uh, for some of you, there's going to be um, like a Mother's Day gift or something close to that. I can't see it. It's not showing up on my calendar. What the heck? What am I looking at here? Sorry, you guys. Oh, Chico de Mayo is coming up. Oh, Mother's Day is May 12th here in the United States. We also have Nurses Day. So if you're a nurse... Or if you're in the military, um, okay, this could be for you, but I feel like you might not accept something that comes in really early. 
because there's been some silence on this person's part. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, get the Ace of Cups. I do feel like this person's going to come in and pretty much tell you where they've been or what's been going on. But I don't know, Virgo. Um, it, it looks to me like you just want to, you might want to talk or have some conversation or have some truth about the whole situation. I don't really feel like you're going to just jump when they come back. I feel like you want to talk something out first in regards to, it's more so I feel about this person's dis, uh, silence or retreat. Not so much about the other issues going on or any other issues going on in the relationship. More so about their silence. Yeah, why they've been unavailable. You might think that they're emotionally unavailable or that they can't meet your needs. Okay. Now, when I'm talking about, I'm not talking about someone hasn't texted you back in 24 hours. I'm not talking about that or even a week. I mean, long-term silence, like you have not heard from someone for a really long time, right? I mean, I think, yeah, it's real easy to text somebody real quick, but I also feel like sometimes people don't want to start up a conversation, maybe because they don't want to get into a conversation for whatever reason. I know I'm like that. Sometimes I won't text somebody because I don't, I feel obligated to, if I reach out, it kind of maybe gives them the message that I want to say, have a conversation. And if I'm not ready to have the conversation, then I won't text them or call. I'll wait until I have the time to give them my full attention, right? And to some people, they could think that I'm ignoring them, um, uh, but I'm not. I'm just kind of compartmentalized like that. Like when I'm working, I'm working. And then when I have free time to talk, then I will dedicate that time to you and nobody else. You know what I mean? So I'm talking about this is a really long time. Okay. And so you have detached with love to clearly see the truth here. So what is the truth, Virgo? And I feel like the truth is this person, I don't know if it's like what I just explained, but it feels more so they've got something to take care of, some kind of contract that they need to finish out before they can give themselves over to you fully, which I feel like they will. Your person will. Now listen, if you're in the chat and you're like, you don't know who this is, you don't have anybody, you can't think of anyone, then just enjoy the chat because it may not be your reading, okay? Just enjoy the chat and being here because that's more important than anything, right? All right, this is a destined partnership. Fate. Now, nothing in here says narcissist. So if you know that your person is that narcissist that we talked about yesterday, well, if anything, you're fated for misery. So I don't feel like this is this, this your reading. If this is what you're dealing with, you need to go back to yesterday's reading. Okay. So yeah, Virgo, this is a destined partnership. You and this person struggle. <clears throat> Definitely some kind of a struggle here, which is what I said in the beginning. Soulmates, when, when it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, we're twin flames. And we're... we're kind of triggering each other right but one thing I can tell you there's this tremendous amount of passion and insane chemistry between you and this person they feel it for you you feel it for them all right let's see cosmic insights open up your heart it will help you attract more love I always feel like don't search for love be love love is in you the love is in you manifest tell the universe exactly what you want Virgo love spell you've been bewitched <laughs> yeah Virgo pretty much that's what I'm saying like the chemistry with this person is crazy you're both bewitched by each other okay earth sign that's you or could be an earth sign that you're dealing with sun moon rising or Venus Taurus Virgo or Capricorn oh and then you get the narcissist here so remember what I was saying I don't feel like it's this but I do feel like some of you might need to get out of this narcissist relationship that you've been in so that something new can come into your life. I just feel like spirit's trying to remind you of that. I don't feel like this person is a narcissist. I didn't see any of that. I do see give it time, everything in divine timing, let things flow. Okay. So I do feel like somebody's going to come back and talk to you. Maybe you think that they're a narc, 
without knowing for sure. <clears throat> Maybe they're like always looking in the mirror a little bit too full of themselves. That doesn't make someone a full-fledged narcissist. Everybody's got narcissistic traits to some degree. Um, like, for instance, what I was saying <laughs> about me not reaching out to people. Sometimes I've heard people say to me, you know, you're very selfish. Like, you don't even call and check up on me. And I'm like, that's not even true. <laughs> you know, but I, my life does not revolve around you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I do check up when I have time. Once in a while, I will shoot, hey, how are you? thinking about you but I won't get into like a deep conversation if I'm about to run out to the store okay look here's passion again you've got the passion card financial challenges affecting this connection perhaps Virgo could be safe to trust in this situation self-care is very important right now but you're being asked to wait there's a timing thing yeah something that this person needs to complete Something that they need to complete so that they can give your full time and attention. Like moving forward. Okay, let me see. Okay, you've got peace. Beautiful. That's Pisces energy there. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life, Virgo. Okay, endure and be patient. And reflect some of you this is the Pisces Virgo connection which can be very um, yin and yang for sure because they're opposite on the zodiac wheel or the Pisces can be very patient generally I mean you've got some goldfish Pisces and then you've got some sharks um, I feel like you just need to get like some peace of mind right now until you know like to be still I feel like you need to kind of pull your energy back from like you need to be patient I'm hearing focus on self-care focus on getting some peace in your life <laughs> boredom Virgo's like, I'm not sitting still. That's too boring. I know some of you Virgos are out there. You're just like running circles around people. Um, hard for you probably to just kind of get into the stillness. Anyone who's got that high energy. But I do feel like if that's you with that high energy, you need to like exhale a little bit. <laughs> Meditate maybe. You've got stand your ground here, Virgo. Like don't. So you know what that means to me? I feel like your energy here is... When you're standing in ground, you got your feet rooted deeply in the, in the, you know, like a tree. Trees don't generally, you know, like a palm tree perhaps even. They're much more flexible. They can't really be broken by wind. You don't want to be too stiff that you get broken in half. You want to be a little bit flexible, but you do want to stay rooted and stand your ground where you are. In other words, don't get crazy. <laughs> don't get cray cray is what I'm hearing. All right, let's get some Chinese signs. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Hold on a minute. I separated these because I didn't want to have all these doubles, you know, when I pull the cards. And I wind up having like doubles after double after double. Okay, let's see. Chinese signs for Virgo. Virgo's Chinese sign and or this person. All right, so year of the horse year of the dog year of the tiger year of the goat year of the rooster year of the rabbit let me see one more please and year of the pig okay um I feel like the overall message here for you, Virgo, really, like whoever your person is, whatever, if they're high on the narc thing, you know, like in their traits or if they're an actual narcissist or there's just somebody here who isn't that way, I feel like the focus should be on you. The focus needs to be that you get yourself in a good place. That's the biggest message that I'm getting here, mostly about you. 
where you are secure. I feel like you need to secure yourself. Okay, let me see. What else does Virgo... Wait, I pulled these already, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All right. Some of you need to trust your intuition. If you're getting any red flags, you need to pay attention to any red flags that are showing up in your life. How much time have I done already? Okay, I can't see my clock. So most likely, I have no idea. Oh, 30 minutes, okay. I'd say that's all right. Um, I'm a little off today, you know why, you guys? Because I went back on my keto diet where I felt like I needed to get a little bit more healthier <laughs> and it's making me dizzy. I've been trying to up my sodium but I have like this brain fog. Like, I don't even know what the hell. I mean, I do know, but it's happening so quickly. So I'm just kind of out here like, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, I feel like I'm like, did I miss any cards? I guess not. All right, anyway, let's get into the rest of this. Okay, people that you could be dealing with, Aquarius, Scorpio, another Virgo, or a Capricorn. They're showing up significantly here. All right, we have September 2nd, September 4th, hold on you guys, September 2nd, September 4th, September 13th, September 11th, significant birthdays, okay, someone's name is Axel, take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, would you please take me home? All right, somebody's birthday is in December, so they're either a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, I'm hearing. Also, August 27th, uh, September 21st, and August 23rd. Okay, August 31st, someone is 51. Someone is 37. Someone is born in 1981. Someone's born in 1971. Someone is 44. We have age 47. 1960 birth. 1990 birth. 1963 birth. Someone's born in May, so we do have a Taurus showing up here. Somebody wears ties. Like every day, where's a tie? Could be for work. And somebody likes pie. <laughs> or is eating pie. Some kind of favorite pie. Uh, lemon. I just heard, they just said lemon pie. Someone like, that's a favorite. It's you or someone else. Um, somebody's doing something with an ax or a tool for chopping. Um, let's see, we've got the letter J. Um, picking up Jim either going to the gym or the name Jim, James. We have an F, I'm hearing Fiona. I'm also hearing Flagstaff, which I think that's in Arizona, right? Someone's in Georgia, someone lives in Maryland. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Initials, J-M, we have G-F. Someone's in Michigan. Someone's name is Tio, and someone, oh, they just said someone hurt their toe, maybe broke their toe. <clears throat> someone, um, I'm seeing a baseball mitt. <laughs> someone says TMI, too much information. TMI, that's TMI. Let me see, is there anything else here? Pick it up. No, I think that's it. Okay. All right, let's get your charms, Virgo. What the hell is that? Oh, a leopard. No, a Dalmatian. Excuse me. And you have a bat. Dalmatian and a bat. You have a leaf. Somebody's name is Leaf. And a Christmas candle. Okay, there's something significant happening between Halloween and Christmas. Or something significant did happen between Halloween and Christmas. Um, now, somebody could have a Dalmatian, you know, 
little well they're actually beautiful dogs um, for some of you the message here I know because this reading was really good but you're being reminded that I don't know why you need to hear this but they're saying remember that a leopard never changes its spots well Dalmatians don't either I guess all right that's a significant message for someone I don't know who needs to hear that but could have something to do with the reading it might not I'm also picking up um, someone as a firefighter or there's a connection to a fire fighter or firehouse and there's a fire that started by a burn burning leaves I'm just hearing fire started by burning leaves or somebody's house caught fire maybe years ago something to do with like burning leaves or brush burned down a house or did something to a house okay could have been around Christmas somebody loves Halloween and then there's like okay Batman <laughs> something to do with Batman or seeing bats but there is an energy of um I'm also again with the baseball did you go to a baseball game like I said Mitt it could Mitt could be somebody's name but it could also be oh they're just giving me um oh okay they're saying out of the blue someone's in Texas and then they're also saying did you pay your taxes did you forget? Have you done it yet? I just heard. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and now they're giving me peanut butter. Jif? Skippy? I don't even know. Peanut butter. Something, somebody's eating it? Or they're just showing me peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay. Oh, and also um, somebody's getting tickets. Somebody's going to be receiving tickets. Or... Like purchasing them or receiving tickets soon or got some tickets for something. Oh, now they're saying May 11th. May 11th. Nothing's happening. That's a Saturday. I guess we'll see when we do the weekend reading. There's something to do with May. Maybe it's somebody's birthday. May 23rd. Somebody's birthday. Uh, they're giving me, okay, they're, they're saying hyacinth. Like the flower, hyacinth. Something to do with hyacinth flowers. Okay, and now they're telling me uh, country music awards. They're saying country music awards. And now I'm also hearing somebody's cat is meowing. Somebody's cat. Um, somebody drives, it's called an XT. XT. So I guess that's, I don't know. XT, Xterra or XT? And then I just heard the jig is up. Ah, the jig is up. <laughs> ah, the jig is up. You hear? You hear? The jig is up. Okay. I'm losing my mind. So I'm leaving. I have to go have my, um, my eggs, my tuna. Can't decide what I'm going to have yet right because I'm doing this in the afternoon you guys are listening to it I'm not eating eggs and tuna at night but anyway I'm gonna leave that there I hope you guys enjoy that or got something out of it if it even made any sense because I know I'm a little bit like wonky today when am I not though right but I'll be back here tomorrow for your weekend reading I can't even believe we're back to the weekend I say this every Wednesday um so yeah do click the like and subscribe button on the way out and um, I will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. And do go follow me over on TikTok. Um, I am uploading some videos over there. So if you're a user of TikTok, if you like that app, um, yeah, give it a follow. You can also follow me on all my socials, Facebook, Instagram. It's pretty much, I'm reusing them again because I thought I wanted to make more like videos and stuff. So go check it out. All right, you guys, love you. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.